Greetings fellow men, servus Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again. Today I want to talk about an article that appeared in the German newspaper Die Zeit and it is about a study about um, the attitudes of Europe's youth towards politics, religious institutions and the media. So first of all, 200,000 young people between the ages of 18 and 34 years uh, were asked about whether or not they trust certain uh, institutions. And um, it can be said about politics, for example, that 82% of uh, the young people that were asked have little to no trust in politics in general. 45% say that they even have no trust at all in politics. So in Germany it was a little bit better than in the average European country. Um, only 23% uh, of German young people uh, mistrust politics absolutely. So in other European countries like France and Italy these values were really high like 62 and 60% and in Greece it was even uh, 67%. So I think here uh, we have the influence that uh, Germany is still a very prosperous country with very low youth unemployment and I think this um, also has a high impact on uh, this value that we can see here. So 87% of uh, the young Young people also say that inequality is rising in their home countries and um, only one-fifth of them have the feeling that um, they are getting fair payment for their work. Round about two-thirds of the young people who were questioned um, expressed their fear of a rising nationalism in Europe especially in Germany and in Greece. So the article goes on to say that um, it is a little bit hard to interpret the answer um, with respect to the European Union. Um, while uh, 59% of the youth who were questioned uh, do not trust in the EU, 71% of them want their country to stay in the EU. Now the article acts as if this is incomprehensible. To me this answer is very clear. That means that uh, a majority of the young people want a European Union but they are unsatisfied with this European Union. And this is not hard to comprehend at all. I think that a lot of young people want uh, national states but they want some form of cooperation. Uh, that's how I see it. But, or maybe they want a super state, I don't know. They are not per se against a political union in Europe. They are just unsatisfied with this union or with the way in which is, it is done here. So this is not hard for me to interpret at all. But I mentioned in one of my previous videos that the uh, people in the EU, they always um, try to give the appearance that if people are criticizing them and the way that they are acting, acting out the EU, that uh, people would criticize the idea of a European Union in general. And I think this is very wrong and they know it's wrong. But they, um, it's a very cheap trick, I think, a rhetorical trick. So moving on, 58% uh, of the young people do not trust um, religious communities or organized faith. 23% are skeptical. Only 3% completely trust into religious institutions or institutionalized religion. So the worst institutions with respect to trust by the youth are, of course, drumroll, the media. Only 2% of young people absolutely trust the media in their country. 39% have no trust at all and 41% are skeptical. So the social scientists write in their article um, that was made by the Sinus Institute that uh, given the fact that um, trust in the media is essential for a democratic state, these values are alarming. Yeah, so <laughs> what to do? Huh? I would suggest that the media should just stop lying. 
So another finding of the article that is somewhat remarkable with respect to Germany is that uh, still a lot of people in Germany, a lot of young people could imagine to um, actively becoming engaged in political parties or uh, working for NGOs. So um, I think overall one can see that the youth of Europe is pretty disillusioned and fed up uh, with the current system. But it is also overlaid with an effect that I would call um, an economic success or prosperity effect. That means that in Germany, all the skepticism and this aggression is a little less pronounced as in other countries where the youth is really suffering at the moment, like Greece and some uh, and Spain, for example. Uh, this is very understandable. I mean, if you have a job, if you have work, um, even though you have a pessimistic outlook, you're still not as fed up and aggressive as you might be or distrusting, let's say, as uh, in a country where there is uh, a large percentage of youth being unemployed and um, not uh, expecting lots of economic success for their future lives. That is very clear. So we see that overall the youth is very skeptical towards politics, religion and especially the media. And this is, as I said, overlaid with an economic um, effect. So what do I make out of that? So instead of um, crying about this horrible new generation, the media and politics should just stop lying, reporting the truth, telling the truth and uh, trying to um, work towards a fairer, more democratic, better Europe. But I don't see that happening. They will just go on like that, you know, uh, Juncker and now uh, Schulz uh, is uh, the candidate of the SPD in Germany against Angela Merkel. And he is one of the biggest buddy of Barroso and Schulz. And these are just these uh, Eurocrats that uh, messed up our continent. So um, they want to continue. The youth better become angry. So I would say if these things don't change, uh, I see no reason why the youth should all of a sudden gain trust in the media again. And they can do all these hit pieces and all these smear campaigns about social media and alternative news outlets. This will not change the fact that the young people know already that the media is lying. So this is a very interesting study. I just wanted to share that with you guys. But it is not as if there was only bad news from Europe. So recently a um, drugstore uh, chain in the Netherlands published a coloring book for children with the Führer as one of their images that should be then colored by little kids. Of course, this uh, caused a shitstorm on social media and of course uh, they take this uh, out of circulation immediately. Uh, but there were also um, customers or uh, interested people, let's say, who asked uh, the drugstore company then that, yeah, I know that you take this book out of circulation, but is it maybe possible to still get a couple of copies? I really would like to hear from you about that. <laughs> so you see, not only bad news from Europe. Uh, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Have a great day and as always, Servus Kameraden!